What are the main responsibilities of a data center operator? A data center operator is responsible for overseeing the operations of the data center, ensuring the smooth functioning of the infrastructure. This includes monitoring and maintaining servers, network equipment, and other hardware. Operators perform routine checks, manage equipment cooling, backup systems, network configurations, and handle troubleshooting. They also ensure data security and uptime by following disaster recovery and business continuity plans. What is the importance of uptime in a data center, and how do you ensure it? Uptime is critical as it refers to the period when systems are available and functioning. Data center operators strive for 99.99% .99 or higher uptime to ensure that businesses, data, and applications are always accessible. This is achieved through proper preventative maintenance, regular monitoring, redundant systems, and quick responses to incidents. By having backup power systems like generators and UPS and a robust incident response plan, uptime can be maximized. What is your experience with data center hardware? I have experience working with various data center hardware components, including servers, both rack-mounted and blade, storage systems, network switches, and routers. I'm comfortable working with different operating systems, Windows, Linux, handling system configurations, and performing routine checks to ensure that hardware is performing optimally. I also have experience with hardware troubleshooting, replacing faulty components, and coordinating hardware upgrades. How do you handle data center security? Security is essential in a data center. I ensure that physical security measures, such as surveillance cameras, access control systems, and badge authentication are implemented. For cybersecurity, I monitor firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and ensure that software patches and updates are applied promptly. I also maintain data encryption protocols and ensure secure backup practices to prevent data loss. How do you troubleshoot issues with servers or network equipment? When troubleshooting, I follow a systematic approach. First, I gather information from monitoring systems to identify potential causes. I check hardware indicators like lights or error codes and ensure that network cables and connections are intact. If the issue is related to software or system configurations, I check logs and system performance metrics. In case of network issues, I check for connectivity issues or misconfigurations in the router or switch settings. If necessary, I escalate the issue to higher level technicians or vendors for support. What measures do you take to ensure data backup and recovery? I ensure that all critical data is backed up regularly according to the company's backup policy, this includes full and incremental backups, depending on the requirements. I test the backups periodically to ensure they can be restored without issues. For disaster recovery, I am familiar with using backup systems like cloud storage or offsite data centers to store backup data securely. I also ensure that there is a clear plan in place to restore systems quickly in case of data loss or system failures. How do you monitor the environment inside the data center? Monitoring the physical environment is crucial to ensure optimal performance. I use environmental monitoring systems to track temperature, humidity, and airflow to avoid overheating or equipment damage. I also ensure that air conditioning and cooling systems are working properly to maintain consistent temperatures. Additionally, I monitor power systems, including UPS and backup generators, to ensure that they are operational in case of power failure. Can you describe a time when you had to manage a critical incident in the data center? Once, during a routine check, I discovered an unusual rise in server temperatures, indicating a potential cooling issue. I immediately alerted the facilities team and ensured that the affected server was safely powered down. I also adjusted the cooling settings and implemented a temporary fix to bring the temperature back to normal. Afterward, I documented the incident and worked with the technical team to perform a root cause analysis. We ultimately upgraded the cooling system to prevent a recurrence. How do you keep up with the latest technology and trends in data center operations? I stay up to date with the latest trends by reading industry publications, attending webinars, and taking relevant online courses. I am also an active participant in online forums and communities where professionals share experiences and best practices. I believe in continuous learning and strive to keep my skills and knowledge current to handle the latest hardware and software efficiently. Why do you think you would be a good fit for this role? I have extensive experience working with data center infrastructure and a solid understanding of both hardware and software systems. My ability to troubleshoot issues quickly, combined with my attention to detail and focus on ensuring uptime, 
makes me a strong candidate for this role. I am committed to maintaining a secure, efficient, and well-functioning data center environment, which aligns with the goals of this organization. What do you understand by redundancy, and how do you implement it in a data center? Redundancy in a data center refers to the duplication of critical systems to ensure continuous operations in case of failure. This can be implemented by having backup power systems like UPS and generators, network routes, and data storage solutions. In addition, hardware redundancies such as dual power supplies, RAID configurations for disk arrays, and failover systems for network equipment, e.g. switches and routers, are important. I ensure that redundancy is tested regularly to guarantee its effectiveness in case of emergencies. How do you ensure proper cable management in a data center? Proper cable management is essential for both safety and operational efficiency. I use structured cabling techniques, including labeling cables clearly and using cable trays and racks to organize and support cables. I also ensure that there is adequate airflow around cables to prevent overheating. For network equipment, I avoid tangling or overbundling cables to reduce stress on cables and connectors. Additionally, I ensure cables are not obstructing cooling vents or airflow paths which can impact server and network performance. Can you explain the role of a data center operator in disaster recovery planning? As a data center operator, I am responsible for ensuring that disaster recovery plans are in place and effective. This involves regularly testing backup systems, maintaining data recovery strategies, and ensuring that backup equipment is in working order. I am also responsible for keeping detailed logs of potential failure scenarios and conducting training exercises for the team to ensure quick and efficient recovery. In the event of a disaster, I follow the predefined protocols to restore services and minimize downtime. What types of monitoring tools have you used to keep track of the data center operations? I have experience using several monitoring tools, such as Nagios, Zabbix, SolarWinds, and Datadog. These tools allow me to monitor the status of servers, network equipment, and environmental factors like temperature and humidity. I also use these tools to set up alerts for any abnormalities, such as a server going down or temperature levels exceeding safe thresholds. This helps me take proactive measures before any issues escalate into critical failures. How do you handle situations when there is a system or network outage in the data center? When a system or network outage occurs, my first priority is to assess the situation by gathering as much information as possible from monitoring systems and logs. I check the status of network equipment, servers, and power supplies to identify the root cause. If it's a network issue, I verify routing configurations and switches. If it's a server issue, I check for hardware failures or software misconfigurations. I communicate with the team and any affected stakeholders to keep them informed and ensure rapid recovery. Once the issue is resolved, how do you ensure compliance with industry standards and regulations in the data center? Compliance with industry standards and regulations, such as HIPAA, SOC2, and ISO 27001, is crucial in a data center. I ensure that all systems and processes comply with the applicable standards by maintaining proper documentation, conducting regular audits, and following best practices for data protection and security. I also make sure that the staff is trained on security policies, and I collaborate with the IT team to implement security patches and updates promptly. Additionally, I ensure the implementation of access control systems and data encryption to meet compliance requirements. How do you handle high-pressure situations when critical systems fail? In high-pressure situations, I remain calm and focused on troubleshooting the issue systematically. I prioritize tasks based on the severity of the issue, working to resolve the most critical problems first, such as system outages or loss of data. I follow the disaster recovery protocols and communicate clearly with the team and stakeholders to keep everyone informed. I document everything for future reference, and once the situation is under control, I perform a detailed root cause analysis to prevent similar failures. What steps do you take to ensure power efficiency in the data center? Power efficiency is vital for both cost savings and sustainability. I ensure that equipment is running at optimal levels by monitoring power consumption and maintaining server loads within acceptable ranges. I also use energy-efficient hardware, such as servers with low power consumption, and implement hot and cold aisle containment to manage airflow effectively. Additionally, I monitor and adjust cooling systems to prevent overcooling, which can waste energy. 
Implementing energy-efficient practices not only saves costs, but also reduces the environmental impact of the data center. Can you describe your experience with virtualization technologies? I have experience working with virtualization technologies such as VMware, Hyper-V, and KVM. Virtualization allows for more efficient use of resources by consolidating multiple virtual machines onto a single physical server. I am familiar with setting up and managing virtual environments, allocating resources like CPU, RAM, and storage, and ensuring high availability for virtual machines. I also have experience with snapshot management, migration of virtual machines, and troubleshooting issues related to virtualized environments. How do you handle regular maintenance tasks in the data center? Regular maintenance tasks are essential to ensure that the data center operates efficiently and to prevent system failures. I perform tasks such as updating software and firmware, testing backup systems, cleaning hardware components to prevent dust accumulation, checking the health of hard drives, and inspecting cables for wear and tear. I schedule these tasks during off-peak hours to minimize impact on operations and ensure all systems are properly monitored during maintenance. Additionally, I document all maintenance activities to maintain an accurate record for auditing purposes.